second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are more into DIY, hobbies and electronics, then definitely you will like this video. Considering our Arduino plant watering project, a brand called 52Pi has sent this DIY hobby project kit. So in this video, we'll try to explore and see what all things we get inside the box. And also at the end, we'll make some projects out of it. 52Pi provides hobby electronics and IoT project learning kits. Also, they have good collections of open source hardware products like Arduino boards, Raspberry Pi and their peripherals including cases, Raspberry Pi coolers and displays. So if you are interested, you can directly visit their website 52pi.com and check out the interesting products. And also I leave the same link in the description box. Coming back to the product, this is the box which says plant watering kit which comes with Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board inside. So this kit actually saves time and effort for making DIY drip irrigation system. So let's open the box and quickly take out all the components out. It comes with a nice package with all the components arranged. Now we'll have a look on each and every component individually. So first we get this Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board, which is the latest model. Also some stickers. Next we have automatic watering main controller board so this board will be directly placed on top of the Arduino board it has the input connectors for moisture and temperature sensors and output ports for three water pumps controlled by this relays 1.3 inches TFT LCD display IR sensor and some LEDs they also provide this IR remote if you want to use it with the IR sensor coming to the sensors inside the box we get three NTC temperature sensors and three soil moisture sensors. So all this already have the soldered connectors. So next we get mini water pumps, three of them. As I checked, these are quite powerful and pumps water with good pressure. So next we get this 5 meter long rubber pipe along with 3 set of drippers. We also get this 18650 battery holder with a switch and round pin connector 
this can be used to power up the water pumps a type c usb cable for programming and at last we get this mounting frame along with bolt and nuts to keep all the components in organized way to help us with the project they have given this user manual with clear instructions and also we get a pen drive which has some documents and demo source codes So this is all about the components we get. Now let's start assembling and make the connections. So this is the frame. First I'll mount this Arduino board using the provided bolt nuts. This controller board directly connects with the Arduino pins. And this is the place to mount the battery holder. and this round pin connector goes to Arduino board. At the top, we get these three holes to mount the water pumps. So let's start doing the connections. These are the three output connectors from the relays which goes to the water pumps. These three soil moisture sensors and three temperature sensors goes to these input connectors. That's all the connections. It's just plug and play and we don't need any external wiring. Now I'll mount all the sensors into the pods. At last, we are left out with the water supply lines. Starting with the output lines for all the three pumps, which goes to the pots with the help of drippers. And all three input water supply lines will go to common water source. Also I have added this 18650 batteries as a supply for water pumps. By this we are done with the assembly and connections.
So the last thing we are left out is the code and the working. In this project kit, we don't get any ready-made final code. Instead, if we look into the provided pen drive, along with some documentation and schematics, we have this demo codes folder where there are multiple code files which helps us to learn and understand the usage of individual peripherals like LEDs, reading soil moisture data, reading temperature data, using IR remote to control the LEDs and same way using IR remote to control the water pumps and this one to display the sensor data on the TFT screen and we have some files on the networking side to use the Wi-Fi on the Arduino board along with IoT cloud platforms. So the intention is to get some learnings from all these basic codes, combine all of them and make your own code as per the required functionality. So considering this, I'll be showing around three ways to make the plant watering system, which are automatic on off control based on the sensor data. The second one is the manual control using IR remote. And the last one is using the IoT cloud platform. But you can explore other methods as well in your own creative way. Coming to the first method, which is the automatic one, here we don't need any manual intervention. The software takes care of everything on its own. So this is the code after updating. Here we'll be continuously reading the soil moisture sensor values and checking for the ranges using simple if statements like this. So based on this conditional checks, we'll be getting to know the state of the soil, whether it's dry or humid. Only when the soil is dry, we'll switch on the pump and in rest of the cases, we'll keep the pump in off state. So this is the main logic. Along with this, I have also added some lines of code to print all the required data on the serial monitor corresponding to all three plants along with the pump status. So we'll upload this code and see the working. So as we can see in the serial monitor, we get humidity, temperature, soil status and pump status for all the three pots. So here pot one and two has enough water. So that's why in both the cases, the pump is off. And also in the TFT, we can see it's wet. But in the pot three, the soil is dry and the same we can see in the serial monitor. That's why the pump status is showing high. And here also we can see the relay is activated. The motor is not running since I have not switched on the supply yet. So if I switch on the supply, the pump three starts working. So once the soil gets enough moisture, again, the pump automatically switches off. I'll also show one more demo with this pot. I'll just lift the sensor up so that it reads as dry. So as you can see, the pump automatically started watering. And if I insert into the soil, the pump switches off. So this is all about the first and the automatic method. Moving on to the second method with a manual control. So here in the code, most of the things is same as the first one. Only the pump 
activation is different. In this particular method, we'll be using the IR remote to switch on and off the pump manually by checking the soil status. So similarly, we have all the information getting printed on the serial monitor. So I'll upload the code and see the results. So using this IR remote, I can switch on and off the relays or the motors. Also, I'm printing all the required information on the serial monitor. So this completes the second one, the manual control using the IR remote. Coming to the last one, which is IoT based control. Here I can monitor all the information and control the water pumps sitting anywhere in the world with the help of internet connectivity. There are a lot of IoT platforms available like Arduino Cloud, Blink, UbiDots, but I'll be using Adafruit IO Cloud platform. So in this, I have created few dashboards to monitor the sensor information for all three pots. and also added three switches to control the pumps. So this is my updated code, which handles Wi-Fi connectivity and publishing data on the Adafruit cloud. So I'll upload this and show the working. The Arduino Uno R4 has built-in Wi-Fi. It connects to the internet and it's already publishing all the information to my Adafruit cloud platform. If I log into the same on my phone, so we can see all this information. Also, we can control the water pumps from anywhere over the internet. So that's on the third method using IoT control. So overall, it's a very good project kit from which you can learn a lot of things by applying practically. So if you are a DIY hobbyist, then definitely you should check this product. I'll leave the product and the website link in the description box. So that's all about the plant watering hobby kit from 52 pi i hope you enjoyed the video so stay tuned and subscribe for more interesting videos thank you for watching